Welcome back to another basic or rather advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I'm gonna show you maybe some more graphical ambient stuff because it is less about coding just how you can actually set up a cutscene um, for let's say more vibrant so for example here we have a uh, well, a room where I have this just stripe where the action is happening with those two guys and they are, well, you can animate them, but maybe we want to do a little bit more animation and what can we do? Well, something like this. Of course, this text box you can completely ignore because this is not part of the tutorial. What I'm going to show you is basically, or uh, want to show you is basically like there's a light system or a light system with it, with two functions so first of all this nice cone here which is doing the light and then a flickering on those arcade machines and then some programs which are running in the background which is pretty cool so it looks kind of authentic so if you want to know that stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky source and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day or try that a video and share my stuff if you can. That would be pretty sweet. So let's get right into the good stuff because this is more like a fluff video. <laughs> it will be just rather easy stuff. So how can we actually achieve that thing? First of all, we just need a light system and this is just achieved by a surface. So if you don't know how that actually works, link link in the description below. So I just copied it one to one from the YoYo official um, store, no, from the official um, forum page where they just show that stuff and there you can just copy it one by one. So basically what it's doing is just drawing a surface over the your our camera so the screen where you have it and then they make it a little bit more black and then you just poke in holes and you do that with some objects which you have to place so for example one of those objects is I call them light cone because we have like a radial cone down going downwards then a bulb which is just a thing like this so this is a radial um, no, not you, not you, yeah, here, and then this radial will be just flickering here a little bit on those arcade machines, and then they will be running a program, so I'm gonna show you that stuff, at least I'm gonna give you a theoretical overview, so for example, what I just do here, as you can see, the whole code, once you maybe have seen the YoYo official thing, is you just put up a surface, then you give it a specific darkness value, so set alpha, let's say of 0 0.6 with the complete black thing, so it's a little bit darker. And then it says, hey, with your parent object, let's zoom in a little bit. And then, for example, for the light bulb, I just change the image X and Y scale. Uh, come on, come on. If you want to see something, at least I. And then. I just let it flicker a little bit with a random value and then the light cone won't be having anything because I didn't like it to be flickering. Of course you can do that but nah, not today. Then I just basically here I just subtract it and then subtract the white one and then add the yellow one because I like the way it looks. So first of all you poke a hole with for example those light cones and then you actually add it up. So it gives a nice vibrant look to it and then of course don't make it too hard so let's say 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 so 40 percent 30 percent look pretty neat and this is pretty much it no big magic and the next thing is for example i have those arcade machines and normally they just have here black and then i just make a program but how can you make that program well i can give you a quite cheap way how to do that so for example I have let's say for example one of my things my assets and then I have a video or just use the video where you actually have the rights to 
let's say a let's play or something like this but i'm not sure about that but here you just well transform it a little bit i just take this picture and then this and this and this and this and you can do i don't know 10 or whatever then i copy paste it into photoshop and then let's put it back for example i have it here come on go away um so i have it here and then i shrink it into this size and then i say hey make it very small so i just lose a little bit of detail so i just go 16 by 6 so you will see basically almost everything is still one to one and <laughs> this is the thing and then i just take it copy it over then i don't know cut out those corners and bam and this is how i make those scenes and then well let's go into the arcade machine because it's no real magic here i just at the start i just give it a little alarm and then i say hey play program one or two or three and then i assign it to the image index and then draw behind that the actual arcade and that is once again just a random one so for example i just draw one of those random machines behind and then i draw itself the program so it runs all the time because therefore i can say hey just give it to the image index so basically i'm just saying hey the program is actually your image which is there and then in the background i just draw one of those machines one of those i got because i have like four of them i guess four or five uh let's go no not you i have uh orange green blue and red one and therefore i just take take one and then as you can see all of them are the same at start but then i just give it a random value so a random background and a random program to run it and then over that i just put in a flickering light so this is the, the stuff i showed you at the start and bam you have a thing like this so this is just theoretically how you can actually set up a little bit more atmospheric thing and this is just with a few minutes of work and as you can see it already looks more vibrant more atmospheric and then it appears that there's some action going on for it is not really but still it looks pretty decent at least for me and therefore you can actually do some stuff and this is um, how you can give just some ambience or some, some more atmosphere to your game and that was pretty much it hopefully that was of interest to you and <laughs> it's not really coding but i think this is one of those disciplines you need to understand as a programmer or as a designer as well because um, just putting a little bit of atmospheric stuff can have quite an impact on you and this is just a great or um, advanced or better feeling towards whatever you're seeing in front of you and i think this is a discipline which but well, you have to master at some specific point because this is just the difference between a game where you just say all right it's good or where you just say oh that looks kind of interesting i love the detail i love this i love that and then you can distinguish your game from other ones so hopefully that was of interest to you and it wasn't too much rambling from my side have a good one one up indie